We are sad to report that the lead singer of the OCR hashtaggers James Appleton has become the most recent victim of online bullying. Over the last few days he's been subjected to a vicious tirade of abuse across social media following his testimony against Man Up Challenge's Bruce Bulldog. One individual stated, Man the f up you p donkey f***ing stain. Quitters like you give friendly community spirit at obstacle races like us a bad name you c this has clearly been a traumatic time for everyone involved. Over to you, Amy. Thanks, Pete, for that harrowing tale. And finally, we return to Toughest Race, where we'll be focusing on another one of their key obstacles. This evening, we are exploring the rope climb. That's right, Amy. Like many of Toughest's major obstacles, there are two options here for participants. We have the regular lane, which is a standard rope climb. It's an obstacle racing staple, and if you've mastered the J-lock, the S-lock, or the marine technique, this shouldn't pose too much of a problem. Once you've rung the bell at the top of the rope, you'll move on to the crawl that follows. Our reporter Scott Seafeld is on location now with Jonathan Alban, who has a tip for those attempting the rope climb. Hey John, so we're here at the rope climb. What's your uh, top tip? I'd say crunch your legs up as far to your hands as possible, so that way you're going to save a lot more time and energy because you can be using your leg muscles and have a lot less movements to get yourself to the top. Okay, great. Back to the studio. Thank you, Scott. And for those who want to challenge themselves a little further, the fast lane of this obstacle is the excitingly technical salmon ladder. Although it's likely to use a lot more explosive energy, those who complete it will be allowed to skip the further obstacles such as the crawls and the over-under walls. Let's rejoin Scott and Jonathan to see if they have any more tips. John, the salmon ladder, what's your top tip? I'd say it's all about keeping your legs because you need to remove as much body weight off your arms as possible so you can move them as quickly as possible up to the next sort of stage. So really keep your, kick your legs up and move your hands as fast as possible. Great, back to the studio. Thanks for that, Scott. Oh, and this just in. A new salmon ladder technique has just been invented, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if we cut back to the background of our recent interview, there is a far less efficient yet stylish technique. Apparently, conserving upper body strength is now a thing of the past. But what happens if you fail the rope climb or the salmon ladder? Pete? Well, Amy, you've bought yourself a one-way ticket to the penalty loop. And of course that differs by location, but here we can see we have a running loop through muddy ditches. That does not sound like fun, Pete. I would not want to do that, Amy. Well, I'm afraid that's all we've got time for this evening. You've been watching the Mudstickle Evening News. I've been Amy Saran. And I've been Pete Rees. Good, Good night. night.